FCI is like a good cup of coffee. It's best when it's properly labeled and it goes to the right person. Ew. The federal government, and specifically the DOD, wants you to consume and enjoy FCI, but in a way that's safe and secure. The FAR defines federal contract information, otherwise known as FCI, as data or facts, information that is created by or provided by the government or for the government under contract. But the key here is it can't be public information. Then that would probably not make it FCI. FCI could be things like performance reports, or organizational and programmatic charts, or proprietary process documentation, and a lot of other things. You may be sipping on your fifth cup of joe, writing an RFP response like a proposal, and literally FCI may actually be in your proposal response to the government. But thankfully, they protect FCI too. Also, the DOD wants you to protect FCI in a way that meets CMMC level one. And CMMC level one basically is encapsulated with 17 practices, two beyond the 15 that are in NIST Standard 171. Which brings me to my last point. If you have FCI, there's a good chance you might have CUI. And if you have CUI, you may need to meet CMMC level three, eventually. So your organization needs to assess where you have FCI, where you have CUI, and then adjust or revise your system security plan to notate where you have FCI and where you have CUI in your information systems. And then lastly, if you need to be CMMC level one or CMMC level three, you need to implement those practices within those information systems. And bottom line, you just gotta stop FCI spillage.